If there's one politician who can understand Donald Trump's frustration with a wildly biased news media, it's British Prime Minister Theresa May. Her country's press is on an all-out campaign to force her resignation. The assault began in June, when May called a snap election that barely kept her in office. Her Conservative Party lost so many parliamentary seats that the Prime Minister was forced to form a coalition government with the pro-Northern Ireland Democratic Unionist Party. The Knights of the Keyboard and the Czars of TV cameras asked why May had been so foolish to test her popularity when she did. She's no Maggie Thatcher, they intoned dolefully. No one mentioned that that sentiment reeks of sexism. The next wave of bile concerned her halting attempts to start negotiating Britain's exit from the European Union, which voters decided to do last year. When she ran into an as expected hostile reception from EU officials, the British press decided first that she was unsuited to such delicate talks, and then that she was sounding too tough more sexism. When the issue of sexual harassment crossed the ocean from America like a plague, Britain found that it, too, was home to powerful men who misbehaved. Among them were politicians from May's Tory party. Defense that's how they spell it Minister Sir Michael Fallon was hounded out of his position for having touched the knee of a female journalist during an interview, 12 years ago. The journalist, by the way, said she was not offended and considered the fuss being made about it foolish.